Therapeutic communication is our next topic. This is defined as a face-to-face -face process of interacting with clients and their family members that allows them to express their own thoughts and feelings in order to build trust. Now, textbooks will always recommend open-ended questions and close-ended comments. So open-ended questions are those questions that are not simply yes or no questions. They instead require a response that is not simply yes or no. So this promotes discussion with the patient. Now, closed-ended comments are like stating facts that are used to portray empathy and build trust, as well as assess further. So, as he mentions, open-ended questions select all that apply. How do you cope with anxiety? What event in your life has been the most stressful? Can you please tell me more about what's happening to you that led you to be hospitalized here? So as you can see, all these questions are not simply yes or no answers. They require the patient to converse with the staff. So let me show you how this works. For example, say a client presents to the hospital after a suicide attempt. As you can imagine, the family and the patient will be emotionally in turmoil. So remember, the goal here is to number one, build trust. So the two NCLEX tips to write down is number one, ask and assess emotions. This is done to obtain important information. So for example, tell me when you started noticing or tell me what concerns you have. What are you feeling right now? How are you feeling about your baby? So using these broad open-ended questions will help uncover and assess important information, which will help decision making. Now, number two, our second NCLEX tip is always state the facts to build trust and reflect on how the patient feels. So for example, we have the vital signs under control. This helps to build trust with worried family members, or you must be very upset after experiencing this, or I understand you are worried. This portrays empathy. All we're trying to do is state the facts that's going on. For example, you sound very discouraged and scared, or you sound angry. Anger is a normal feeling associated with loss. Or it can be a combo effect, which we saw a lot on our NCLEX review. For example, this experience has been very overwhelming for you. What are you feeling right now? So you can see how the facts are stated and a question is asked, but it's open-ended, not a simple yes or no. And another example here, clients with cancer experience fear of dying. Tell me about your concerns. So you can see, we ask and assess emotions and we state the facts. Hey everyone, Nurse Mike here from SimpleNursing.com. Did you get your beautifully handcrafted study guide bundle yet? It highlights the key points and memory tricks in this video. Plus, get 900 more videos not here on YouTube, all neatly organized in the playlist. Along with thousands of practice questions written by actual NCLEX writers. So don't be scared, be prepared. Try it free today visit simplenursing.com. Now the big things to avoid here. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.